Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about an idea a member of my PLN had for Google Jamboard, and that's storyboarding. So I've connected with Louise Jones in Scotland, and she and I were talking about storyboarding using Google Jamboard, and she encouraged me to take her idea and make a video. So here, here's the video. So in Google Jamboard, the writing options are really robust, and at the bottom, there's auto draw. Auto draw is awesome. So everything I've created on this frame of the jam is created with auto draw. Pretty cool, huh? So you could use this for storyboarding. This text here, by the way, I made with the handwriting recognition tool, which is this one right here, really cool. Now to get this image out and say, use Google Slides as Louise suggested, so that you could click from different slides to other slides to have kind of like a choose your own adventure, you click on the three dots, and then you share the frame as an image. Now it doesn't directly download. It wants to integrate Gmail is the easiest way. And that's the way I do it. I just do that. You can also open it with other apps, including this is really cool. Google keep. That's really cool because then you can annotate it on it and draw on it further. But if you just email it to yourself, then you'll have it. And then you can open it in Google slides. So I have a slide presentation open. And if I hit insert image, upload from computer, and let's take that image. And by the way, it renders the exact same size as a slide, as you can see in Google Slides. How cool is that? And from there, you can now make a Google Slides presentation where you storyboard using the auto draw capability of Google Jamboard. If you have any questions about this or have other ideas about Google Jamboard, feel free to comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.